Hello everyone! So as you can see, I am on my trip. So I'm going to be reacting to a whole bunch of things today. Let's see, I'm going to be reacting to Woods, come, Woods is comeback, Sung Yeon's comeback, uh, Pentagon's comeback, Cypher's debut, Purple Kiss's debut, and Omega X's debut. The first thing I'm going to react to is going to be Purple Kiss's uh, debut with Ponzona, I think it's called. So yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go. self-composed because I can't she seems to be their ace go go oh this is their vocalist are totally RBW style Oh my god. I have so many thoughts about this. Wait a second. Is that the Grim Reaper? <laughs> okay. So you expect me to believe that that was their debut and that was like not secretly like their fifth comeback or something like that? Okay, so first initial thoughts. One, technically that was their third. <laughs> technically speaking, that would have been their third song. Or like that is their third song considering that they released. Um, what was the first one called? The, the really intense one, the Dreamcatcher style one. Uh, that one. And then they released Can We Talk Again? And then this. So technically this is their third song even though it's their debut. Secondly, not only did this give me a vibe similar to Give and Taken uh, in the fact, in the way that it's like, oh, 
this doesn't feel like their debut it feels like a comeback like a, se a comeback from like a seasoned artist in the same way that give and taken feels like i feel like this is also the kind of vibe that and hyphen would do if they were girls given the concept of give and taken i feel like this is the kind of concept they would shoot for if they were girls i don't even know if that made any sense but and jeans you guys will know what i mean you guys will know exactly what i mean i trust you'll know also, I'm kind of iffy on whether or not these videos, any, any of them will do good considering I'm releasing them 5 hours late and when I do that, they usually get like 10 views a piece. So song rating, I think in terms of all their songs so far, I think it's insane that I can say that, honestly. Um, I like, oh, it's called, the first song was called My Heart Skip a Beat. Um, I think my favorites um, in order would be Can We Talk Again? this song and then my heart skip a beat but they're all very close in terms of how much i like them so yeah not much of a difference um i think i said i like can we talk again more than my heart skip a beat for the same reason that i like this song more than my heart skip a beat because like younger aaron would be like yeah i i, I would like my heart skip a beat more if i was a little younger because that was my, more my music taste when i was in like middle school high school but now that my music taste has kind of matured, I prefer more like chill sounding music and that's kind of what this was. So I really like that. Also in terms of like vocals, I feel like all of RBW's girl groups focus more on vocalists, vocal, yeah, focus more on the vocalists and their guy group, like obviously their guy groups, well, one that's focuses more on I feel like all rounding, kind of same with one way because they play their instruments. So I guess you can consider playing instruments and singing and making your own music being considered all rounding. So yeah. That being said, I'm going to check what I gave Can We Talk Again for song rating and then I'm gonna base it off of that. Okay, so I gave my heart skip a beat a 20 out of 10, which means I have no choice but to give this like a 19 point nine out of ten like i said the difference between how much i like these songs is very slim so yeah in terms of dance rating i feel like again this gave me total like an hyphen vibe what an hyphen would probably <clears throat> do if they were girls and i love an hyphen's dancing they're so in sync they dance like they're seasoned dancers or seasoned artists like they've been dancing together for years and i can say the exact same thing for purple kiss it's ridiculous they're insane i said this before for my heart's gonna beat they dance like they've been dancing together for their entire lives so yeah that being said, I'm gonna say that I prefer My Heart Skip a Beat's dance over this. Um, and But the, the thing is, I gave My Heart Skip a Beat an infinity out of 10 for dance, which means that I've got to give this like a 100,000 out of 10 for dance because they're just insane. Right now, my brain's not fully going enough to be able to tell you what technically I liked about it, but just know that they're very, coming from the perspective of a dancer, they're, they look like they're seasoned artists who've been dancing together as a group for years, even though it's been not years <laughs> since they have re started releasing music. I mean, arguably they have been dancing together for years since they were trainees together, but you guys know what I mean. Final thoughts, I'm so excited to listen to the rest of this album. I know I always say that, but I feel like it has a certain weight this time around because they're self-produced artists. Um, much like how my favorites like Seventeen and Stray Kids are and we all know how much good music those self-producing groups make because they have that freedom from their company to do whatever they want and that just in general makes them better in my opinion so yeah I am so excited um I'll be checking it out sometime because I don't know if I'll have time today Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any thoughts about the song, or the music video, or the dance, feel free to drop those thoughts down below in the comments, as well as any requests for things you guys might have for me to react to in the future. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because by doing any of those things, you really help me out a lot as a content creator, so thank you so much for your support. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and go stand for a kiss and stream Panzona. Okay, bye guys.